Today we're going to uh, demonstrate how to change the carbon brushes inside one of our Variacs. I chose the uh, uh, medium sized Variac that we sell, the uh, TDGC-2KM Variac for the um, demo because it's our, probably our most popular model. Uh, the brushes are readily available from us here at Circuit Specialists, so make sure you get the right brushes for the uh, model of Variac that you have. The uh, first and most important thing to note is that we need to make sure that the uh, power cable is unplugged. Uh, we definitely don't want to work on this machine with it live. Also, for this particular operation, I do not need a wrist strap because there's no uh, ESD sensitive components inside this unit. Basically, it's a hunk of wire. Tools we're going to need are a flat blade screwdriver, and then I like uh, a couple of different sizes of Phillips head screwdrivers. So the first thing to do is remove the knob on top, and that has two set screws in it. And I use a flat blade screwdriver for that, so I loosen the two set screws. Knob comes right off. Uh, the next thing I need to do is to remove this circular cover here. Now there's two screws on the front that hold the front panel together that normally wouldn't need to come off except that two of the screws that hold this circular cover are hidden behind it. So I've got to remove this front cover to be able to get to the screws. Once I free the front cover, I can get to the two screws that are hidden underneath it. So I'll take these two off first. And I've got three more around the, uh, or four more actually. So there's six screws total on the bottom uh, of the circular cover. Okay, now that I've got all six screws removed, I can lift the cover up, comes right off, exposing the two brushes. Okay, now what I usually do is go and shove it all the uh, to one end. These brushes are broken so it moves very freely. I'll now use my smaller screwdriver to go ahead and loosen up this spring steel clamp that's holding them down. We're going to have to take one of them completely off because it has this um, wire, connecting wire, braided wire that gets uh, captured by the screw. So I take one screw completely off, freeing up this wire. Now, at this point, I could probably go ahead and remove the um, brush, but just to make things a little easier, I like to go ahead and loosen the other screw so that I can get it out of the way. Now, at this point, I can get this brush out completely. I'll take the old one out and notice the brushes were busted on this one. The new brushes, I'll go ahead and reinsert in the same position. Put the spring steel retaining clamp back on. Again, this eyelet here gets screwed down to this um, centerpiece that slides the slider of the Variac. Get that screw back in. Tighten up the bottom screw. Now there's nothing really critical on this. <coughs> Just want to make sure that the um, braided wire isn't caught anywhere. And more than anything, we need to make sure that this spring stock is holding that, uh, the brushes down securely so that it rests against the uh, windings of the variac. Now I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So I'll remove this screw entirely. Okay, 
I'll loosen up the um, other screw that holds this spring steel on the other side, allowing me to remove the broken brush, reinsert the new one. Reinstall that retaining clamp and put the screw back in. Again, just want to make sure that the clamps will end down the brush line. As you can see now, the brush is making good contact with the um, windings on this variac. So now we're ready to, re to uh, put it back together to install this top cover again. So the reverse of the way I removed it, I put the cover back on. around again to make sure all the screws are on tight. Now reinstalling this front cover and usually I like to uh, put the bottom screw in first because it's a little easier to see. I get it started down here. I just like to just get it started so I can have a lot of room here to work with this last one. secure and I can go ahead and reinstall the knob. Now what we're going to do is make sure that the arrow on the knob is pointing to the right location so I'll take it all the way to zero point. Put it on. Notice that because of the flat side here it's pretty much going to fit the right way. So once I get it there where it's the arrows in about the right location I'll go ahead and tighten up my set screws. Done, ready for lots more hours of operation of the Variac.